Hey guys, I'm so excited to be bringing you a new video about how to grade a quiz in Google Forms using the add-on called Flubaroo. I have actually have two parts to this video. The first one is the old way to do and insert the, in, the script, and the second video is the new way to use it as an add-on. Hope this helps you. Today what I want to do is show you how to take the quiz that I made in the last video and how we can grade that quiz. It's really a simple way and I think you're going to love this. So first of all let me just show you that I've created the whole quiz now. So I have all my pictures and all of my um, questions and also I changed it a little bit from my video where now I have the question up here and basically what I did was I created an image title um, I did that and then I also went ahead and kept the question as well because I wanted it to, to show up on my spreadsheet so that's how I, I did that so what you're gonna have to do um, to get this graded is you're going to first need to you can go ahead and let the kids take the quiz so you don't have to wait um, to to do the script um, before because really you need at least two um, responses you need two people's um, quizzes to be submitted before this will work so I've already submitted one um, form and now I'm going to show you how I did that. So I'm going to go here to click click on view live form and I'm just going to take the quiz and I'm going to call the, call this the answer key and that way I'll know when I run my script that this is the answer key. These this is all of the correct answers. So I'll click on continue and I'll just go through my quiz. How many airplanes? Well, let's see. 11 continue there are 13 counters and let's see 15 baseballs there are 19 goldfish and D would be the correct answer here We've got 13 and we have 11 and 12. Okay, so I'm here um, to stop. I need to click submit and I am have my answer. So I'm going to go back to my form and you'll see here where it says view responses. So you're, when I click on that it's going to take me to the spreadsheet. Now as I said earlier I've already created just an answer you know pretend this is a student and these are their answers and then this is the answer key so now what I need to do and if if you had your stu all your students um, take the quiz that is no big deal at all and you could even use one of your students answers as the answer key it's totally up to you but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go up to insert and I'm going to go to script and I'm going to look for the script called Blueberry. and I'm going to search for it and find it here and install it so while it's installing um, this is real simple you have to um, allow authorization to run so you just click on continue and you accept the terms um, so this is just a great way to easily grade all of your assignments. Um, you'll notice here when it turns green that it's installed and then I'll click on the close button. 
Now, it doesn't really look like anything has changed except for up here in the top, you'll see the script is up here. So what I have to do now is I just click on um, the word Flipperoo and I go to grade assignment and it will start running the script and it will give me, you know, it'll just basically allow me to go through this step by step so there's no, no way you can mess this up. So it just says to select your grading options. I know that my name is going to identify the students. I want each question to be worth one point, but I can change that if I want to to be worth two points, three points. You can, you can definitely um, decide what you want as far as points go. And uh, maybe you want to do skip grading for specific problems. Um, so you can do that. So I'm just going to leave them all at one point and click on continue. And then it's going to ask for the answer key. And here's my answer key. So I'm going to click on that and press continue. And then it's going to grade my papers. And I can go to view grades. And now you'll see what, um, now if, if all of your students had taken the quiz, then you would see what they made on the quiz. Um, and so here, of course, poor little Gracie made 37.5%, um, and she got a total of three out of nine. Um, you can get the, e um, get the grades emailed, but we don't have email in our school. But this is just, this is basically how it works. You can also, what's nice about this is you can see, um, you know, what students got what question correct, which is nice, and it gives you a percentage. So it's definitely got a lot of good um, information that you would need. Um, it talks over here about the points possible, the average points, the counted submissions, and the number of low scoring questions. So if you were to see this as a whole class, um, of course you would see how it's a lot more um, informative than what I'm showing you here. But um, for this video, I just wanted you to see how to run the script, which would allow you to grade your quizzes. I um, hope that helps you. Um, and uh, stay tuned for my next video where I'll show you how to differentiate your quiz a little bit more um, using another script. See you then. Hey everyone, this is my second part to the um, video to create Flubaru. I wanted to make this so that you would know there's another way to do this. This is probably the best way for you to do it because it's the newest way and um, the old way that I showed you, Flubaru will no longer update that version. So this is probably your best bet if you're using add-ons, which you'll notice has just come out in Google. So here, here we go. The way it works is you create your spreadsheet. And you'll notice when you create a spreadsheet, um, a new spreadsheet, it actually has the add-ons feature. Um, it doesn't have that add-ons feature if I create the spreadsheet within my Google Form, which you'll probably have seen from my previous video. So that was what was confusing me a little bit. But um, I've already actually created, um, I've already found my add-on already, which is Flubaroo, but I want to show you how to go ahead and do that. There are so many different add-ons, I haven't even began to pl play with it, um, but basically, um, when you click on get add-on, you'll just go in and you'll type in Flubaroo to find it. Um, there it is right there, but if you can't find it, it'll search for it. And then um, once you find the add-on that you want, let's just say that I wanted these free fonts. Then I can just click on free and it would add it to my add-ons, but I'm not going to do that. So here I've got my add-ons. <clears throat> And I'm going to title this uh, copy of copy 
of 100 or numbers to 100 and say OK. Alright, so this is my new spreadsheet with Fliberoo added. So now what I'm going to do is go to my form, copy of copy, and this is where um, I got a little confused because it wasn't working with the new version, with the new version of Sheets. So here we go to choose response destination, and I could create a new spreadsheet. And if I do that, it will not allow me to do the add-ons. It just, I guess that hasn't updated yet. But what I'm going to do is just go to my new sheet in an existing spreadsheet. I'm going to click on choose. I'm going to find my last modified. Right here was my copy of copies number and I'm going to hit select. And now I've got my responses. Now because this is a new spreadsheet that I just made, I'm going to actually paste some responses in here so I'll have it so that you can see what it looks like. So now I've got my add-ons, I've got Fluberoo, and I can go to Grade Assignment and you'll see that it's working and it's going to give me my options of adding um, you know, I've got the name identifies the student, I can put the different points that I want, I can skip the grading if I want to for each question, and then I'll click on continue, and then it'll go to step two, I'll choose the answer key that I'm wanting, and then I'll click on continue, and it'll grade my assignment for me, and I can view my grades. And so now I have the assignments. It has, it shows me how many people got the answer right, how many got it wrong. Um, it kind of gives me a good idea of which questions maybe I needed to review or maybe the questions that aren't very good, um, those kinds of things. I can also go up here to my add-ons. I can email my grades if I want to. So if I click on that, it will allow me to email um, the grades that I can include the answer key and I can include a message if I want to, but I don't have email addresses for that for my students. Hopefully next year we'll have that. Um, I can also go and I can review, I can view reports, which is really nice. So there's a lot of um, really nice features with this. Um, I can email my report here um, to myself if I need to. So lots of good data that I could use. Um, this is your best bet really to um, using Google, um, using this add-on with Fluberoo. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep both versions of this um, just in case you want to do it the old way, but um, I wanted you to have both ways that you could do it. So hope this um, helps you and um, good luck with Flipperoo. And there you have it, how to use Flipperoo to grade your quizzes in Google Forms. I hope this is going to be helpful to you and it will make your life easier. That's what I'm here for. Um, come back and see me. Bye.